Okay, throw the ball for Annie. There she goes. Okay, here's the coop. We have not labeled the coop. We assume you know what the chicken coop is. There are three main sections to the coop. This section, the middle section, and then the layer hen section on the end. Right now, we have three types of birds here. We have, come on in and join me here. We have 50 stinky meat chickens. They are labeled for your usage, and they have two feeders, one here and one here. These feeders need to be kept, you know, just fill them up every day or half full, and I'll show you where the food is. One of the tricky parts of the meat chickens right now we'll do right away is this new watering can. I'll show you how this works. In order to refill the water in this, you need to take this little white cap off right here, and if you can see right there, you need to put that cap in the water and in that little hole there and screw it on so that when you refill this, the water doesn't come flying out the bottom. You then come to the water tap, and this water tap, most people when they first use it are disturbed because they turn it on and no water comes out. It just takes a minute or so because the water is filling up the tube. You just rinse out the bottom of this container a couple times. Make sure you're wearing some rubber boots. Trina will have rubber boots here. And then what you do is you unscrew this top bit. This is a lot of water in here. It's a five gallon pail. I fill it up, but I'm totally, we're totally fine. If you can only fill it up halfway, they're drinking a lot of water right now, the 50 chickens are. So you're gonna have to probably do this at least a couple times a day if you're only filling it halfway. Then you just fill up this container right here. And when you're done, just to make this quick, you just turn off the water, put the top back on, and then don't forget to release that bottom little white thing and put it back on top so the water can go up. But what I would do is leave that in there, screwed on the bottom, until you get all the way in so water's not splashing all over the place. Just put it in the coop here and screw that piece back on. Or, uh, sorry, unscrew that bottom piece, put it on top there, and then the chickens will be happy. So come on into the coop here and meet some more of our other chicks. So if you come on into this middle section here, I'll show you, watch your head there, Treen. Yeah. So this is where our new baby layer chicks are. Labeled baby chicks. They're a really cute little group down in here. I don't know if you'll be able to see them right now. But there's nine of them and they live in here. There's two containers here. One for their food. You'll be able to see when this, this jar part is empty. You just need to keep this full. They're not eating a ton of food. If you had to refill this once a day, I'd be surprised. And then their little water container, it's very easy to refill. And uh, they'd probably go through one of those a day right now. Just check it whenever you're out here. Those meat birds that I told you about are going to be the, the definitely the, the highest intensity group you have to work with. Right here, Trina and I have happily labeled the three types of food we're using right now. We have the layer food for the eight layer hens, which are actually in the next coop over here, which we'll just look at in a second. There's a scoop here for all the foods. So this, this bin has the layer food. This bin has a bag of the, the food for the baby chicks in the container in the little bin that we just showed you, the nine little baby chicks. And then this bin right here is the food that you will be going through the most, which is the grower food for the 50 stinky meat chickens. Um, I have, there will be two bags in here uh, when Trina and I are gone. And if you need another bag, um, you just have to let yourself in the barn and grab one. I will hopefully think you would only need, I'm hope, hoping you would only need one, two bags. It, it should be fine while we're gone, but there will always be extra in the barn. Now, one other quick thing I want to point out to you is you do not have to change all the shavings or anything on this ground, but these chickens poop like it's going out of style. There is a bale of shavings here. So what you can do in a day is just come, these are clean, fresh shavings. You just take some and just sprinkle it all around. You can just, you know, as you feel like you want, just sprinkle it over top. And when Trina and I come home on Sunday, Monday, we'll give this thing a good cleaning out. But it should be fine for the weekend if you just keep putting shavings on top. If for some reason you run out of bales of shavings here, Trina, if you just turn around, there's three more bales 
against the wall right there. And so just help yourself to whatever. Don't worry about making a mess. One other thing to say to you, because I'm not writing this all down, if some of these meat chickens die, if one you come in one day and one or two of them is dead, do not stress, you have not done anything wrong. They are a genetically weird breed, and some of them will die. I have one in here right now, I'm not sure how it's going to do. If it dies, if you don't mind, please just get tough, find a pair of gloves in the house, take the dead chicken, and put it in the green compost bin uh, over by where the vehicles are parked outside the house. I don't want the dead chicken in the woods because then other animals might know that there's chickens here and might start coming looking around. Come for a quick walk and then we're done to just look at the laying hens. That'll be fine, tree nubs, where they won't even come out. This is labeled layer hens. This is the other easy one to do. They have a bin right there of food that I have filled right to the brim. It might actually be good until we're gone. You just need to replace this bin of water, just, just re let the water out of this, rinse it out, and refill it every day. And then check these little boxes for eggs. Oh look, look what our little happies have done for us right here. Here's three eggs, please eat them, or just put them in the cartons in the fridge. That's it. Uh, the layer hen food, as I said, is labeled there. Hope this isn't too long. Thanks a lot. Bye.